I'm doing this video in the shower. Thank you. Next. Check it out. Hey. Hi. Hello. My name is Delana Cherie if you are new to my channel. And if you are not new, then um, my name is Delana Cherie. Still. And my channel is all about creating beauty in our lives and making beauty fun. And in doing that, I have tried a lot of at-home tanners. Tanning mousses, tanning waters, tanning lotions. I feel like almost every form. However, I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could just like throw on a tan? Like, like it didn't have to be an entire endeavor every time I wanted to have a... <laughs> Brown Scottish moment. That's when this little guy actually showed up to my door. The Purity Naturals Sunless Tanning Mist. I tried it once with my husband's help where he actually sprayed my entire body with it, but this time I wanted to try it all by myself. I figured most of you guys are going to probably be tanning on your own and you're not gonna have someone there to help you tan, so the only thing I'm going to get help with is my back per usual and I do recommend trying to have someone there just to apply it to your back but more than likely you're not going to have somebody that wants to like sit there and spray your entire body. Let's figure out how to do this. Hold approximately 10 inches away from your skin and spray an even layer of mist across your desired tanning areas. You do not need to rub the product in, very important. If an excess product develops on the skin, gently spread the product across the desired area and blend gently for a deeper tan, darker color. Color, reapply using the same process. Reapply two to three times per week to maintain your tan. Two to three times per week. That's, sorry, I'll stand in the middle here. That's quite a lot to keep up with the tan. So I'm assuming this tan fades pretty quickly or they're just saying like to keep it perfectly even two to three times per week, which I think that's probably about what it is. Like you would probably need to reapply a tan if you want it to perfectly last and stay consistently the same color about two times a week. There isn't any like prep advice. Let me look at the box. Yeah, the directions on the box say the same thing. Oh, this is cool. We are Purity. We are a makeup-free brand for men and women of all backgrounds. We created a line of skin and hair care products formulated especially for you. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing on prep. So if you've never tanned before and you wanna know how to prep your body, then check out my video right here. Um, it will walk you through everything. I think it's here or here, so I actually think it'll be right here. I go through my very thorough prep routine my entire regular tanning routine prep work is very very important for any tan that you're using so make sure you do that exfoliate moisturize things like that but only moisturize certain areas all the details in that video I'm nervous to try this spring tanner okay all right I guess there's there's only one way to do it I am very scared let's do this Okay, I guess it's just gonna get all over everything. Should I start with my legs? Well, we're kind of up here right now. So it's 10 inches. That's like about all under a foot. There we go. Wait, I should test it first. I'm, I'm just guessing. very tinted, so it's kind of hard to see where I'm getting it. I did learn from my first time, whenever Sam applied it to my entire body. What? Hello? Focus. Oh my gosh, don't tell me my spray just broke. Oh. Okay, good. Whenever Sam applied it to me the first time, I did learn that like if you spray too much in one area, then it'll start to drip and it will make it streaky, so avoid that. Try to just do like a nice light layer everywhere. Oof, the sense is strong. If you see any fuzz here, it's because I was wearing a black tracksuit that shreds. Um, shreds, sheds. <laughs> That's the difference. I promise I'm just shaped. Okay. Ooh, okay, it's getting slippery in here. Um, be careful, and I'm definitely gonna have to wash the bottom of my feet because I'm stepping all over my hand right now, okay? Oh, that got on my face. <laughs> oh, that got on all my hands for shoesies. Oh, we're getting a little thick there. I don't want it to drip, so I'm chill. Oh, dude, it's super nice for getting your back. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Might be 
you for that. Oh, I don't even get it in the places where you really struggle to get it on the back of those people. Should I try to spray my neck? Maybe. Oh my gosh. Just want to make sure I'm getting the back of my arms. I feel like that's going to be really easy with this. Okay. Here we go. I think that it was on the legs where I got some drip marks last time. Make sure to stretch your toes too. So I'm going to make sure that I don't get too generous with it on the legs. I forgot about my butt here for a second. I feel like my feet have gotten plenty of spray from it just falling down, but I just did a quick little spritz over each one. Oh, thanks, B. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm making some brownie stuff. Spray my hands in the meantime. Really nice for getting it evenly on your hands, that's for sure. Just all over your back? Yeah. And don't go too heavy because I don't want it to drip. Okay, then that's probably it then. Perfect. Do you want any of the sides for here? Um, will you just make sure that I got the back of my arms? I mean, I know you can't like see it, but just like. Just do a quick little spritz on the back of them. That should be good. That should be good. We really only used like half a bottle this time. Remember we used like the whole thing last time? <laughs> what? I know, I know. I had some streaks because of it, remember? I Now I gotta wash my hands. Okay, so what I'm doing to get off my hands is I'm just taking a wet washcloth, a really wet washcloth. And I'm just rubbing it off of my palms rather than running them underwater since I did spray the backs of my hands. And I'm also gonna kind of rub off any excess right here because this part can get really dark and crazy. I'm just gonna do that on both sides. And I'm also gonna do the same thing to the bottom of my feet because I don't wanna rinse off the top of them because we want those to match the rest of my body. So I'm just gonna do the rinse this and do my feet. All right, I'm just gonna quickly kind of rinse off the walls of my showers before it all like sticks. Oh, Thank you. Ah. Okay, okay, getting water off. That was a horrible idea. Just wait till the, just wait till you need to shower. recording the whole time. Hi. I totally forgot about my face and it doesn't say to not use on your face. So I'm just going to do like a quick little spritzy spritz. This way it also doesn't get on my palms. I think I sprayed my neck already. Right? And then I'm just going to wipe it off of my eye area just in case it's not good for the eyes. All right, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. That was probably the fastest tanning application I've ever done, which is pretty exciting. Like usually it's a whole event, me coming to this point of like setting on my camera and applying the tanner and everything. And that was like so quick. So I'm really liking, even though it like gets really confusing whenever it's your first time doing it, I feel like if you get the hang of this, it can, you get the hang of the application, it your tanning will go like this, you know, or maybe even using it as like a touch up. Maybe your first tanner is like Coco and Eve and then your second application just to kind of like revive the Coco and Eve will be just like a quick little spray on or something like that. And then the next time you do the full Coco and Eve application or something, I don't know. I just really am liking how quick the application was. Uh, I'm not gonna say easy, it was kind of difficult in a different way, but it was so quick. And so, um, yeah, definitely a little bit of a learning curve, but really liking it so far. Oh, and then the other thing is that it doesn't say like leave it on for this many hours and then shower or wash your body or anything. Like there's no like even leave it on for this many hours. It just says within a few hours, your tan will be fully developed. So I guess I just like don't wash it off or like that's not a requirement or what the dealio is there, but I'm going to sleep in it. We shall see. Then after sleeping in the tan and not washing it off until like the late morning, the next day, I was pretty dang tan. The tone is really nice, very natural, not orange at all. And the tan 
actually came out super nice and even. And unlike pretty much every other tanner that I've used, it, I had no issues with it clinging to the rough and dry areas, like your elbows and your knees. Those looked perfectly even. Like I was actually shook. There is one thing that I learned with this tanner though, and it was a total user error. Remember whenever I said, oh, I'm just gonna do like a little extra spritz on my feet just in case. Well, don't do that, okay? Because I applied way too much product. Just the product that falls onto your feet as you're spraying everywhere is, is it's plenty. It's probably too much. So skip the extra spritz on the feet for sure. So what I would recommend doing instead is just whenever you're done, actually just take like a dry towel and just wipe off any excess product that got on your feet and ankles and you should be totally golden. I don't feel that this will completely replace any of like my ride or die tanners. However, there are two major freaking benefits to this tanner. One is that it's so freaking fast to apply. Like I just, that was the fastest try on I have ever filmed, ever. It was insane how quick. And then two, you don't have to wash it off. <laughs> it's, it's so convenient in that way. Like you could wake up the morning of like an, a wedding that you're attending or something like that and take a shower, apply it in the morning, let it sit on you all day. I, I would give yourself room to leave it on for at least like five to six hours before you start putting makeup and stuff like that on top of it. But pretty awesome that you don't have to wash it off. And if you're going to wear this tanner, I would expect it to last about three to five days in terms of the full color, um, depending on how many times you've showered throughout that three to five days, or really just like how much time you spent in water, honestly, within that three to five days. After that, you'll wanna consider reapplying. If you are interested in trying this tanner for yourself, um, as of the day that I'm filming this, they have it on sale. So I think it's only like, I think it's like half off right now or something like that. So I have a link in the description of this video, just follow that. I don't know how long that sale is gonna last. It's just, I checked today, the day that I'm filming it and there was a sale going on um, that I didn't know was gonna be going on. So um, yeah, just check it, see if it's still there. I think it was only like 15 bucks or something like that with the sale, around there. Don't quote me on that. And if you wanna see other tanning products that I've tried, then check out these videos right here and I'll see you over there. Bye. <laughs> Next, thank you. Next, I'm so can you grateful for her. Next, thank you. Next, thank you. Are you purring? Oh, you were purring, I and mean, you stopped purring right when I said that, huh?